and welcome back. I want to show you a little bit of information here on the, uh, the main screen of the configurator program. Here in this top corner, you'll see we have, you can select either wired for USB or PS2 or wireless keyboard. Uh, if you're programming uh, with a uh, USB keyboard plugged in, that keyboard has the capability of talking USB or PS2. Uh, also, then we have current keypad configuration. You always, after you plug it in, you always hit read configuration, looking for that good read. It'll tell you, it reads the firmware and it says, hey, this firmware supports 30 buttons, 63, key, uh, three, 63 keystrokes per button. Uh, you have the uh, uh, template configuration where you can go out there and you can load templates or save templates or modify them. Uh, then this next, uh, next bar here, current bump bar configuration. This is the way it was read from the configurator. New configuration, this is where you go in and you make those changes into the buffer of the, uh, the configurator program and then you write them back out. So new bump bar configuration template name, you could, that's where you type in the name. You uh, select the type of connection, whether it's auto, PS2, USB, B or Bluetooth. Uh, here is where you select the modes. There are four modes in the keypad. Mode 1, 2, 3, and 4. Mode 1, 2, and 3 are pre-programmed in there. Mode 4 is where you create your own custom templates. The speaker enable or disable, that's where you can completely turn off the speaker and get no sound whatsoever, or you can enable the key clicks only if you want to have never sound or you can do it where it triggers on caps lock, num lock or scroll lock and those are related to the LEDs that are on a typical 101 key keyboard. You have those three LEDs instead of LEDs on the keyboard we created a sound function so you can make it uh, make a sound while the LED would normally be on. So if you clicked uh, set it on caps lock like what we have right here and you write that back out, you save it, you hit the caps lock button on a laptop or another keyboard connected to the same system, it's going to continue to, to squeak at you until you hit that caps lock off. So, you know, you want to pay attention to what you got here. And, and these uh, functions are used for in, uh, in places where environments where you do not have the ability or the desire to look for an LED that might be toggling at you. Uh, those are used in more an industrial environment. Could be restaurant kitchens, uh, some with CNCs. It just just really depends. You know, if you're using this with an application where you're doing a um, shortcut keys for something like the uh, VCar Pro or Aspire software from Vetric, and uh, you don't want to have to memorize all those those shortcut keys. You could program each one of these keys in there, and you might want to turn it to where you never have the uh, sound modifying there for you. And you can disable the beep also so that you don't have the key click sounds every time you hit a control Z or or uh, in for node editing or uh, whatever it might be. You know, you can actually have little pictures on the keyboard to show those things. So back down here, if we have a template, we load a template and say we select a blank template, we can update this template and that's what this button is for is we would update this particular name. We could save it as a new template file if we if we wrote a, something out there in one of the keys and wanted to save it as something special. And of course the right configuration to bump bar. Nothing is uh, changed in, t in the bump bar until you hit that button and you get three beeps saying that it was written out there. So that is a uh, overview of the main template screen of the KRS bump bar configurator program.